right now on Operation Repo. Um, I'm going to drive with these girls and they're going to fall. Okay! 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 No problem here. I'm going to help you. <laughs> oh my god, there's more guys coming. There's more guys coming. <gasps> got to get this to the finance company. Call them up. This is a single family residence. Yeah. OK. OK. And uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to rerun the college address, OK? College address. Yeah. You, ain't, you haven't left yet? I wanted to finish this, so I'm going to have it. Let's get I on it. Come on, hurry that. up. You guys, quit playing around, man. Let's, let's get it Come going. On. What's that? Jaguar. Jaguar. Yeah, I don't think we're looking for a Jag. Well, you said black, right? It's a black. It's a black Saturn. Black yeah. Saturn. Uh, what is that? Come on, cook. Go is ahead. That is that it? Yeah, but there's two chicks on there. Go a little forward. First of all, me and Matt are driving around and we're looking for the car. And when we do approach the so-called car, I got, what do I have? I have three chicks on the scene. All right, you know what? That's the car. I'm just gonna, um, I'm gonna go block them in. Okay? Because uh, I can't, I gotta get that from the front. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna block it in, okay? You ready? Are you up? Are you ready? Okay, you ready? Let's go. Hey, no speeding. I got it, I got it, I got it. There we go. And when I get off, obviously, I get off to in the car. See if it's mine, it is. And obviously, they start going, now who's this girl? <laughs> Do you see how she's dressed and blah, 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 blah? Hello, ladies. Uh, who's Summer? Okay, Summer. Well, guess what? We got an order for repossession on this vehicle. A what? An oh order for repossession. What does that mean? That means that either your husband or somebody ain't paying this car. I'm not married. I do have an issue with girls, women, ladies in general that think they're entitled to something that they haven't earned or that they didn't pay for or the daddy bought or the husband bought or the boyfriend bought. So yeah, I got a little bit of a problem with that. Maybe daddy ain't paying for it. Daddy's gonna be rich and can buy 10 of these exactly. cars. I don't well, think that's the problem. You can see your ID or something. Yeah. No, you can see my paperwork. Yeah. Oh, wait, like I can print Please. this out too. Oh, really? Yeah. That's what her name is like already on there. Well, first of all, I need to talk to you guys. I need to talk to you, okay? If her dad, in fact, has all this money, why didn't he just pay that damn car freaking cash? Because that Scion is not a lot of money. I really don't want to have to get physically involved with the women, you know? First of all, you know, I, you know, I, if, you know, if they touch me, they could get really excited. Secondly, uh, it, it, it could cause a lawsuit. Call your dad. 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 Call your when they're all arguing, they won't shut up. They get louder, and the more you tell them to shut up, the more louder they get. And if there's enough of them, drive you nuts, okay? Did all right. she just touch me? All right, all right, everybody, no, stop, stop. stop. Oh my God. Now, take it down oh a notch. My... Take it down a notch. Take it down a notch? I don't think so. I'm gonna talk to her. She just, that was a mistake, okay? That was a Relax. mistake. Call she your dad, what did you say? Wait, Summer, what did you say? I left Summer, a message. I am one. Oh my gosh! Ladies, ladies, ladies. Please, God, you dirty people! You never hear me. Okay, calm down. Calm down. This is just a 
Watch out. I need to talk to her. Okay? She's the owner of the car. For what? I'm, I need to talk to her. Okay, okay, okay the car, okay. car. Just All right. My experience with women, uh, only because of my overwhelming charm, persona, and extreme good looks, I've, um, I've had women react many different ways when I approach them. Seriously, like, please, can we? No, 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 we can't. Now we can't. We're gonna we don't even need to talk to you, so you no, need to can't. just back can't. it up. Can you please back your room to my face? Get the hell out of here. Oh my God! Like, like, seriously, you move. You know what? Seriously, you move. Move. Honey, I can't move. Get the keys. Okay. Okay. I kind of got tired, so I just went for the damn key. And let me tell you, she, that skinny girl, was holding on to a good grip on those damn keys. Matt is trying to tell me, Sonia, relax. But I was past the relax, okay? The reason I didn't get involved in that was because Sonia was there. And that was Sonia's job to deal with the girls there. You see, I, I, I really don't want to have to get physically involved with the women. Are you okay? okay? Are you okay? Get out Are you okay? Please. What ends up happening? I go in the car and I got the keys. And all of a sudden, the, the owner, she started getting spasmatic. Are you okay? I've had a woman faint on me. I've even had a woman piss herself, but I gotta tell you, this is the first time, <laughs> the first time that I have affected a woman so greatly that she threw up on me. <laughs> I'm going, you know what, you guys don't get off. I'm going to continue driving and I'm going to break you off. Oh my God. You don't get off, I'm going to drive with these girls and they're going to fall. Okay, okay, okay. All right, okay, all right. Call Jimmy. Call Because it's paid for, right? You know, I can understand a young person like herself uh, was extremely overwhelmed by what happened. And you know, it's understandable. Things happen. Oh, that smells terrible. How can you take that? Oh. I was a little upset when it happened, but now looking back on it, you know, what can I tell you? We still got the car. Yo, just don't give us a I just want to give us a Oh, no problem here. I'm going to help you. <laughs> For 2007, um, did you notice that my voice is coming back? Yeah, you look like you're getting better. It's good. Yeah, so what have you been doing? Did I'm you get that penicillin shot? No. You should have. They say that makes you sicker. Really? All right. And you know I'm going to skip on it. All right. We're looking for a 2007 <laughs> Land Cruiser LR3. What's an LR3? It's a little small version. It's like a, mil a miniature one. It's pretty cool. I mean, we wouldn't fit in it, but it, it's, <laughs> it's, it's pretty <laughs> then cool. Then I guess car. I won't be driving it. I bet you it's like this like in the Midwest all the time, man, or, or like Colorado. I'm sure it's always like snowing and raining and, you know, and, and, and look, at there's our car. And the door's open. Okay, that's pretty funny. The door's open and it's raining. Well, we're in a nice neighborhood, obviously, and it's on a cul-de-sac. You know, in cul-de-sacs, there's two reasons why sometimes I don't like cul-de-sacs, even though 
people love cul de sacs. I don't. I don't know for two reasons. One, because if I have a problem on a repo, it's hard for me to get out of there because there's cars that will park triangular, straight, crooked, whatever, in that cul de sac, aside from their driveway, which they got plenty of room in, but obviously they don't. Second reason why I don't like it is because it's like all the houses are right there. So you start yelling and creating a commotion. Everybody wants to get involved or they start calling the cops. All right, bro. Or maybe somebody's coming you out. Need, you need to back up on it. No, this, it's our plate. Come on. It's our plate? OK, move out of the way. OK, we got the, uh, I don't know what's going Hello? on. Hello. I'm looking for a Jeff and a Johnny. Yeah, I, I paid for my stuff. Oh, I'm not here for that. My credit card went through and everything. Yeah, well, I'm not here for that. I'm, I'm actually here for the vehicle. Uh, are you Johnny? That's me. Okay, yeah. well, it's behind on payments. That's yeah, why I'm here. Rich. Well, this, this is all on her. Okay? Um, Our finances honey, are completely separate. No, no, no. no um, I mean, if you can see, I don't, I don't think you guys are having problems. They got like a billion dollars, and they said that I could. Yeah. Our, our finances are separate. Can we just let me get my stuff out? I just want to get my stuff out. Oh, no problem. Here, I'm okay. going to help you. Thank you. Thank you. Obviously, she must have money, because let me tell you, either she's a shopaholic or she just like, like buying labels. I don't care, because she had too many bags in there. So obviously, this woman's got money. Now, the question is, she got money for that, but why she got money for that payment? Because this is the reason why I'm on the property. Uh, your wife should have Here you go. Here you go. And the husband didn't care. He was like, you know, he was like one of those guys that said, you know what? I got like the last dime in the bucket. You can have it, okay? You can have it and go with a freaking smile. So you know I was like, man, this guy's too shallot. How many times have I told you to pay your damn bills? Like, it, okay. I was part of the bailout. Can I give you the key? No, I need the key for the you car. Need the key. Yeah, I do. I do. Take mine. Okay, <laughs> listen, ma'am. I usually always get the key before I give anything out. I'm being common collective. And I gave you all your stuff. All this stuff is new. I don't care about that car. Yeah, well, that's, well that's you should problem. care about the car, because now you ain't going to have a car. Here, bro. You want to you wanna drive it? I want my new stuff. Yeah, you get it. You want to drive the car? Drive the car. Let's go. Let's get out of here before they change their mind. So, this is the happiest day of my life, bro. Obviously, you can tell you know, this person, they live in a very nice neighborhood, had a real nice car. And it just goes to show that the economic situation is affecting everybody. I mean, I've never in my lifetime, and let me tell you something. I'm not 15 or 20, okay? I'm 46 years old. I remember how easy it was to get a job with the skills that I have aside from repossessions. And I can't find a damn extra job. Can't find a job. They don't even want me at the supermarket. It's a nice car, but this is for like fancy people. And I'm not a fancy people. I'm actually, I don't know what kind of music is that, but I'm not interested. Uh, the repossessor stereotyped as the bad guy. That's a misconception. Let me tell you why. This is a billion dollar industry. Billion dollar. Okay, repossessions affect everybody. In fact, if there was no repossessions or no repossession company, the average American cannot afford finance rates on an automobile. That's fact. That is fact. So we're a major contribution to the economy. We're actually, yeah, absolutely. You nod your head like you don't think so. Yeah, because with our repossession companies, let me tell you, man, you cannot afford to finance a car. You have to buy it cash. And just people, you know, some people have to understand that we're a very professional business. And hey, we're part of the food chain as well. Oh my God, there's more guys coming. There's more guys coming. <gasps> What year is this thing? Linda? Oh, duh. I know the bike shop's right in the corner. It's a 2009 Fat Bob. 2009 Fat Bob. That's a nice bike. And we're looking for Jose. Yeah, but it's at the bike shop, so they don't have to worry about the owner, which is good. Well, it was really nighttime. The day had gone pretty smoothly, um, nothing too crazy. Um, like other times. So, you know, kind of figured, hey, everything's gonna be cool. Yeah. I can see there's already a bunch of bikes outside. Um, and people. 
That doesn't matter. My dad would never put me in a situation that would be dangerous or that would, um, you know, not be safe for me. But being in this business, you can never assume that it's gonna be, everything's going to be okay because it doesn't work out like that. Who do you talk to? The owner. I know, but how are you going to find out? Like, there's like 50 million people. Ask him, I guess. All right. I'll wait for you here. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. How you guys doing? Um, who's the other shot? Froy got off. I mean, it's not logical for me to get off somewhere like that. You are? How you doing? What's your name? Mike. Mike, how you doing? My name is Froy. Hey, I'm here for the uh, the 09, the fat bar. Uh, what 09? The 09 fat bar. Don't you have an 09 fat bar here? What do you mean you're here for it? Uh, it's up for repo. Uh, they owe me money on it. You're not taking that bike anywhere. Who owes you money? The customer. They owe you money? How much yeah. money do they owe you? Six thousand. You know, I, I could tell that he didn't want to go. I mean, who wants to walk into, you know, a bike shop and full, filled with, with these huge guys? You know, they don't take any pull. Um, okay, then there's something you have to, you know, figure out with them. You guys, gonna be you talking guys ain't to you. taking nothing, man. Well, that's the way it works. I'll take it with me right now. Okay, then you have to get a, a, you know, a hold of the owner, and then he'll be able to tell you what you have to do after that. But I have to take it with me. You know, you, you don't mess around with, with, with bikers, you know. You, you, you know, not to stereotype the bikers, because we're all bikers, I ride, we all ride. But man, you know, sometimes you say the wrong thing, you know, or you get caught up in the wrong place with these guys. It's a form of disrespect. Oh my God, there's more guys coming. There's more guys coming, there's more guys coming. I remember talking to the guy, and after that, I really don't remember much. You're, you're not taking it. What do you think about this guy taking He's going to take well, the bike. Well, let, let, let me explain. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You know, honestly, I don't think that uh, there's anything that I could have done to prepare myself for this. Um, it's not the first time, and you know, unfortunately, I can guarantee you it's not the last time. Dad, 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 Dad. <laughs> well, Lou and I uh, were running another account over there in Pacoima uh, when we got the phone call. What I did is that I told her, "Look, hang up, call 911. We'll be right there." No one. <laughs> I need, I need cops. I need pull an ambulance, please. We're repossessors, we're repossessors, and we're repoing a bike, and they just beat up my uncle, and he's on the floor. Stop! Ah! They beat up my uncle, please, and he comes now! Oh my god! I put the pedal to the metal and I was there fast. My guy, he's getting hurt. Not, not only that, my daughter, man. If something happens to my daughter. <laughs> my first response was to go after somebody, but who am I gonna go after? I went over to my friend and picked him up and got him to the truck. And uh, I can't tell you, the, the feeling of, of, of utter frustration. What the f right? What happened to him? Oh Did you call? Where are the cops at? Did you call the cops? Um, you know, was, I guess what happened first is, you know, the guy kind of like hit the side of my eye. And then once I hit the ground, um, you know, I don't remember much, but I know they started kicking me somewhere. So I got a few scratches and, you know, here. Uh, you know, it, it hurts. If it comes to a situation where I have to absolutely shut one of these guys down, I, it wouldn't be a problem.
And, and then all of a sudden, you know, thank God, just like the Marines rolling in, LAPD shows up. And thank God they were there. Because these were some bad boys. I need you to calm down and tell me exactly who hit Floyd. It's important. Relax. Who hit, which one was it? So, I mean, I could sit here and speculate and tell you all kinds of stuff that people want to hear and stuff like that, but I'm just glad that I didn't have to do anything uh, severe, man. I feel like I failed my uncle, you know? Um, I should have gotten out of the truck. And I shouldn't have just left him there laying on the floor. <laughs> As, you know, as bad as it was, as, as bad as I wish it never happened, um, I think I was pretty lucky. Um, it could have been a knife, it could have been a gun. Turn your camera off. Turn your camera off. Shut it 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 off. Shut it